Here is how you can knit paracord just using your fingers. This method is great for making leashes, lanyards, bag straps, and even bracelets. Let's go. Starting from one end of the cord, you're going to grip it with your thumb and middle finger and wrap it over your index. Come back down and over the middle, then back up, making this figure eight wrap around your index and middle finger. You want to do that twice and end up on your index, then bring the running end behind your middle and hold it in place with your middle and ring finger. From here, you want to grab the bottom section of the piece on your index finger and bring it up and over the top section. Then secondly, do this same move for the middle, bring it up and over the top section over the tip of your finger. After that, I'm going to give the standing end a little tug. And then from there, I'm going to make another figure eight wrap around both fingers. From there, repeat the same steps. Move the bottom sections over the top and over the tips of your fingers. Notice I'm always doing the index finger first and then the middle second. You can do them in the other order, but just make sure you keep doing it the same way each time. Don't switch back and forth. So that is the pattern you will repeat. Bring the bottom sections over the top, pull on the standing end, and then follow with another figure eight wrap. This is the two finger paracord knitting method, and you can continue to knit a long chain this way. Your fingers, however, might get a little tired when you first try this. Once you've knitted enough of your paracord to finish it off, you're going to remove your fingers from the loops and bring the loops slightly together. And then pass the running end through the two loops and pull that end shut. And now we have our knitted paracord. You can do a lot with this technique, like make a simple bracelet, for example. I cross over my terminal ends, and then I can tie a couple of sliding knots or scaffold knots to make an adjustable closure. This technique, of course, can be taken further to make a dog leash, lanyard, or even a bag strap. Perhaps if there's enough interest, we can explore that in a future video.